Yes, then, lads, we are back. But before you start, guys, if you want to drop a like on today's video for me, drop a comment down below and hit that subscribe button to my channel. That would mean the world to me. We are back with another custom tactics video of a formation that has been the bread and butter for many and many and many. Actually, maybe not many years. I'll probably say since like FIFA 19. Yes. That is the 4 triple 2 And before all you guys start moaning at me saying, blah, 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 are you on the pay-to-win account? They only work on a pay-to-win account, blah, 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 blah. I'm actually running a Road to Glory live on stream every day at the minute as well, just to show you guys that it's not all about the team with custom tactics. But before we get straight into the tactics, guys, for your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins, please do check out mmohp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at a checkout for 5% off your order. So we are back on the 4 triple 2 by the way. I have to admit, it is really grown on me. And I, and I feel like the more I use it, the better it is. I was never really a 4 triple 2 fan up until about last year, really. And then just the more and more and more that I've used it every single year, it's growing on me. I like it. It's very similar to the 4 2 3 one but a little better attacking-wise in the 4 2 3 one And I love formations at the minute that have got two CDMs because you can kind of afford to be a little more attacking with the two CDMs than you would normally be with like two central midfielders like in a 4-4-2 or in a 4-3-2 one where it's a flat three midfield, like midfield three. I really like the two CDM formations. I really, really, really like it. So this is how I set my team up in the 4 triple 2 R9 and Cantona at front. Best is on the right, Jezinho's on the left, and then Hullet and Lofa Matthias as the two CDMs, and then back four, pretty obvious. So, the tactics are not what they are on your screen, but they're quite similar. But, the defensive style, I always run balance YouTube, it's never going to change. Don't get me wrong though, if you are someone that does like to really suffocate your opponent, you know, get in there, get in there like motherfucking swimwear and stuff like that. Press after possession loss, and especially pressure on heavy touch are very good. I would prefer pressure on heavy touch if I had to use one of them, just because press after possession loss, if you do use it for the full 90 minutes, will really drain your stamina. So I would stay quite... A, I would only use that in like certain scenarios, like in the last half an hour of a game or in the second half of a match, rather than the full 90. Pressure on heavy touch, though, I would use that for the full 90. It is definitely good. But I, I prefer balance. A balanced style where your team presses the ball to the middle of the pitch and your team shape is neutral. I prefer that. I think that is a million times better. I like to be in control of where and when my team presses, how they press, why they press, and stuff like that. I just much prefer that. I just find it a lot better and a lot easier to run with, really. So that's why I use it. The width YouTube. Preset on 50. I don't like 50. 35 is 100% the way to go at the minute. I'm really, really, really fucking with this 35 width YouTube. Like, and I mean a lot. I'm fucking with it heavy. Left, right, in the morning and at night. Nice little rhyme there, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, 35 width. The, the reason being, the more narrow your team is, the harder you are to break down. And also, the easier it is to play a switch to certain positions and stuff like that. It's just very, very, very easy to really run a mile with the 35 width. I, I'm really, really, really all in with this at the minute. I'm loving it. I would say anywhere, though, between 30 and 45 is what you want to go with. I, even if you want to just leave it on 50, you probably can. But I definitely think 45 is the good starting option. Then lower your way down. See if you notice a difference. You will notice a difference with less goals conceded, unless you just shit at FIFA. The lower the width you go, you will concede less goals because it is just harder to break you down. It really is that simple. The depth YouTube. Now, you know me. I normally play 70. I haven't for a while now. I just haven't for a while. I'm really, really, really like I am with the width. I'm loving the 55 depth, man. I'm loving it. It's hard to break down. But at the same time, you're not just parking the bus. You're, you're still in your opponent's face. I've, I've been noticing as I've been playing the higher depth, especially with me now tweaking my custom tactics with me running a road to glory as well. The higher depth, I'm just getting killed with balls in behind. It's just killing me, man. Absolutely killing me. So... 35-55, very, very, very good combination. It's what I'm loving at the minute. That 35-55 combination works an absolute charm. The offense, yes, YouTube, you guessed it. Balanced and direct passing. It really, 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 really is that simple. I can't sit here and bullshit you and tell you to use something else because it's just not as good. It simply is not as good as balanced and direct passing. By the way, actually, drop a comment down below. If you don't use balanced and direct passing, what do you use? Because I'm always looking to use different things, but... I just love balance of direct passing. It's that simple. I can't find anything that works anywhere near as good at it, really. So, if you use something different to balance of direct passing, let me know in the comment section what you use. The width. I leave the width on 50 in a 4 triple 2. I actually don't touch the width at all in a 4 triple 2. I really like where my lamb and my ram are, which is very unusual. Normally, I always tweak the width a little bit, like 45 or 55 or something like that. But 
I like where the lamb and the ram are. I like that in a 4 2 2 I like it. So I don't touch it. Players in the box, you guessed it, six. No real method to that madness. I just always think more players in the box, more likely you are to score a goal. Two corners and two free kicks. So, there are the tactics done. Let's get straight into the player instructions. Now, these are what I use, YouTube. Okay, so this is me. Mano asa mano. Wait, that makes no sense. Mano e mano. That's the saying, isn't it? Mano e mano. Man to man. This is what I use, man to man. But... You can use these as a baseline and then tweak certain things if you don't like it. Because there are two key things that I'm now using in a 4 2 that maybe you guys aren't enjoying. So, the strikers. Both of them are on stay central, getting behind, and come back on defence. Now, you might think the come back on defence is a defensive move. It's actually an offensive move. It's an attacking move. The reason being, you see this big gap here between your strikers and CDMs. We want to close that gap off so it's then actually easier to build up in the attack. So the comeback on defence, even though it might seem a defensive move, it actually helps you out in the attacking side of the game. Your players aren't too disconnected. The big thing I always find in a 4 2 is that big gap between your two CDMs and two strikers. Try and close that gap as much as you can. So both my strikers are on stay, cent stay central, getting behind and come back on defence. My lamb and my ram have not changed all year. Uh, they've probably not even changed in the last two years using 4 2 Come back on defence and get into the box across. One thing I will say though, YouTube, okay? And this is one thing I will say. If you struggle to create some opportunities in a 4 2 put one of them on free roam. Because what will happen is when one of them's on free roam, they'll actually drift into that cam roll. They'll actually drift into the middle of the pitch. So, again, it will close that that um, gap off between the two CDMs and two strikers. But I never use that. I just much prefer them playing as literally like the Lamb and the Ram where they are. So, come back on the fence and get into the box across on the two wide players. Now, I use both of my CDMs on completely default settings apart from cover centre. This is where, like I said at the start of the video, you need to use a little bit of your own initiative YouTube. So, I use both of them. On balanced attack. So both of my CDMs will get forward. Again, the reason for that is I want to close that gap between my two CDMs and two strikers. But if you struggle defensively, and some of you probably might struggle defensively on FIFA, defending is probably the hardest thing to do on FIFA, put the more defensive one on stay back while attacking out of the two. Only put one of them on stay back, no. Don't put both of them on stay back, no way. You need a little bit of help from your CDMs going forward. I use my CDMs in the attacking third a lot. I feel like a lot of people don't actually use it for some reason. Use the CDMs, man. They're an extra player going forward. You'll create more opportunities with it. So put one of them on stay back while attacking if you're struggling defensively, but I don't. I have both of them getting forward, man, basically. They're both running running the mill going forward. And that also works on my road to glory as well. I then use both of my fullbacks YouTube on stay back while attacking and overlap. Really, really, really does help, actually, the stay back while attacking and overlap. And then it comes to crosses and sweeper keeper, of course. And that right there is... My updated 4 triple 2 custom tactics video for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a like, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button to my channel. That would mean the world to me for new content. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive man, latitude. Peace out. One love.